Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the kitchen and I'm going to make some bread and buns. Basically using the same recipe, uh, just I use the same dough, just half portion. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll take you along and show you this recipe that we found for bread that we really enjoy. So the first thing you need to do is get three level cups of flour in just like a medium sized bowl. And then five teaspoons of yeast. I use uh, instant dry yeast. So five teaspoons of yeast. Let me just mix those together and put it off to the side. Next, we need to heat up some water, sugar, salt, and butter. So two cups of water, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of butter, and two teaspoons of salt. So we just heat up the water, salt, sugar, and butter on the stove in a pot, mixing continuously until the butter is almost melted. Now this re recipe originally calls for using two cups of milk. Uh, but just to make things cheaper, we just use water. We find it tastes the same either which way you go. And it turns out the same, so might as well make it cheaper and use the water. So as you can see, the butter has melted down. It's not fully melted but you don't want to make this mixture too hot or it will kill the yeast and then it won't rise properly. So since you have the wet ingredients heated up, you want to pour it into your dry ingredients now. Now before you mix it together, you also add three eggs. Now I just use a hand mixer. You can also put all this stuff into a stand mixer. But basically you want to uh, mix it on low for 30 seconds and then high for three minutes. So once you have all these ingredients mixed, uh, the next thing to do is add more flour. Uh, basically the recipe calls for six to seven cups. We had used three cups so far, so I'm going to start with adding three cups more into the batter. You basically just want to add enough that 
you can mix in with a spoon. without it being runny anymore. So that's about as much mixing as I can get done with the spoon. It's gotten quite thick already. So with the last cup, the seventh cup, that's where I just Sprinkle it on the counter because you need to, not the whole amount, because um, now we need to knead the dough. And keep in mind the more flour you add, the harder it gets. If you want light and fluffy bread, you don't want to add too much dough. Or too much flour, sorry. You might also need to add a little bit of flour. I like to coat my hands, so if you find some sticky dough, it won't stick to you too much. So now I just knead the flour into the dough and make a nice ball out of it. Now after you have your ball of dough and all your flour is incorporated into it, it's okay if it's a little sticky. You want it to be a little bit sticky. So once you have your ball of dough, you will add it into a lightly buttered Bowl, and you want the bowl to be big because the dough is going to rise and then you want to flip the dough to make sure it is covered with the butter and then we put a towel over top and let it sit for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half anywhere in there So once the dough is finished sitting, as you can see, it has risen up. Now this is the fun part. If you're frustrated with something, all you have to do is punch the dough. I just love that. So basically you want to punch the dough down and then cut it into two. So this recipe will make two loaves of bread or you can do what I do and take one half and turn it into buns. So once you cut, cut it into two, cover it back up and let it rest for 10 minutes. Alright, so after 10 minutes of letting it rest, you want to uh, grease a loaf pan and 
uh, two loaf pans if you're going to make two loaves of bread. And then also a cookie sheet if you're doing the buns like I am. Take one half of the dough and place it into your loaf pan. And then you'll want to have it covered again and let it rise for at least 35 minutes. Now if you are making buns with the other half, like me, I put the other half on the counter. I do flatten out, flat, uh, I do flatten it out a little bit and try to make it into a rectangle as much as I can. And then I'll take a dough cutter or a dough scraper and just cut it into fairly even chunks the best I can. And then I just hold it in my hand like this and then just sort of fold in the edges and pinching them together. So then this will be the bottom of the bun, that'll be the top. And just put it on the pan. Now the buns will bake a lot faster than, fa the buns will bake a lot faster than the bread uh, so I like to put them in the oven separately. I'll normally do the bread first and give the buns a little bit more time to rise or get bigger. As you're letting your, the dough rise, you also want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it rise for about half an hour to 35 minutes while the oven is getting up to temp of 375 Fahrenheit. Okay, it's been 35 minutes. It's time to put the bread in the oven. So I'll leave it in for 15 minutes and then I'll come back to check on it. That's looking nice. Still needs to bake a little longer, but I'm going to put some tin foil over top so it doesn't get too dark. Another 20 minutes and it'll be done. The bread is done. The next thing to go in will be the buns. Now the buns will go in for eight minutes and then I'll take a look at it. Also, once it's all done, you want to take it out of the pan right away so it doesn't keep cooking it. 
So I just like to turn it out onto the counter and let it cool there. Okay, just some tin foil on top of those. Another eight minutes and they'll be done. The buns are done. I need to be very cautious because some people like to eat them straight off the pan. Be very cautious because they're hot. And you want them to cool off the pan so they don't get burnt on the bottom. Okay, you two. They're really hot. You need to blow on it. Okay. It was my pink. Which one would you like? I like a big bun. Oh, there's little buns for you. I want a big one. Fine. Hey, hey. You like a bun. Did Dad steal a bun? No, he's one to eat it. Yeah, he stole it and ran away. Hot. How about we let it cool down a little, okay? Why? So we don't burn our lips. Don't burn our mouths. 